Hey JC, this is Brandon. Um, I wanted to kind of give you a heads up. Um, we're going to talk about some of this stuff later on this evening, but I wanted to give you an idea of what I normally look for and uh, ways that I would um, look to analyze and, and kind of rank sites just to give you an idea of what I do and um, where some of that value can come from. Um, just ahead of time this you know your whether we work together or not you're welcome to to use this information um you know either working with me or working with someone else but um this these are just uh three great things that you can do to really uh help your sites to rank um so let's just go ahead and jump right in the first one that i want to hit on is uh content um normally when uh when I look at a site, uh, the first thing that I'm going to check is to see um, how much content they have on their homepage and uh, versus that of their competitors. Um, and so I, I went ahead and I looked at those three different sites you gave me, your your .biz site as well as um, the Structure-Pro site and then the StructuralPros.com, which I'm not quite sure why this wasn't pulling up, but um, we can always look into that later. Um, but anyways, what, what I ended up doing, um, the reason content is important is because Google, um, you know, we can have the prettiest site ever, but you know, as far as Google is concerned, all they care about is, is the content that's on there. Um, so the more content you have, the better. Um, and that's obviously because of keyword searching. Um, you know, you can have great beautiful pictures but that's not what people are searching for they're searching for different um, things such as foundation repair um, Wilmington North Carolina um, this is what I just used kind of as an example but um, generally um, and, and the reason that, that is is obviously because you know Google their their whole reason of existence is to line up people's searches with the best places that will satisfy those searches so um, generally to be fully optimized on Google you want to have at least 1500 words um, on this home page um, and then uh, you can you also really take into account your competition because you want to be beat out your competition um, this is the um, number one organic search that pulls up under Foundation Repair Wilmington, North Carolina. It's ncfoundationrepair.com. So I went ahead and just used them as kind of our uh, measuring stick. Um, but they have um, they have quite a bit of content on that homepage. They actually have over three thousand words, um, and a lot of it I think comes with a lot of these reviews and and job stories, um, work requests, that kind of thing. So they they know how to how to do the uh, the SEO kind of thing, and they know how important that content is. So that's something that we'd want to um, beat, and you know, just put great quality content on your homepage. There, um, I think you're pulling in roughly about 700 words. So you know, this would be something where I'd I'd say let's beat them with like 4,000, 4,500 words on that homepage. To be able to uh, hit that first um, checkpoint in uh, getting ourselves uh, fully optimized on Google, so that's the first thing is going to be that content. Um, the second thing that we hit on is citations, which is basically your name, your address, your phone number um, on different places throughout the web, um, and the reason those are important is this right here I think we've talked about it. this is the the map pack um, and it, it's associated with your uh, your GMB your Google my business um, and the way this works is um, like you know you know there's those top three there which obviously you're doing great at for this uh, particular keyword which is awesome um, but the way we get into that map pack and the way we stay there and uh, can even you know depending on what we're 
uh, depending on if we have multiple GMBs, that kind of thing, we can actually rank multiple spots there. But um, that top three uh, spots there is, you know, what, a lot of the times when people are looking for something, um, if that Google Map Pack pulls up, um, they're not going to even go to the organic search results. They're just going to go to one of these top three uh, positions. And the way you get into there um, is if you, one, um, match you know if, if they've got at least three businesses that match the keyword that someone is searching for in the area that's how you're going to end up getting that map pack um, and then those citations your name your address your phone number um, in different places throughout the internet that's uh, one of the key things to be able to um, get yourself ranked into that map pack so um, the more you have the better make sure that they are um, great, uh, you know, directories throughout the internet. So places like Yext, Yelp, um, Yahoo, uh, even Facebook is considered a directory. Um, the more places you have that, the better, the more likely you are to rank at the top of that map, map pack. Um, generally what we suggest is having, um, two to three hundred citations to beat out your competition. Um, and then as far as uh, that goes, there's actually a way you can check and see where you're at on those. This is a free tool that you can use called WhiteSpark. And uh, what you'll want to do is uh, you can put in the name of your um, your business here. We've got Structure, Pro, Structure Pros. You guys are pulling up 24 um, different citations throughout the internet. So we've got Facebook, Yelp, Bing, um, etc. And then uh, we've got your competition there, and they are pulling up 39. So that's something that is helping them to rank. Um, and I didn't actually look very far to see how they're doing on that particular map pack. Um, I was just using their. Um, that that's obviously the the one with the highest organic uh, search um, on that keyword but I think they are also listed actually there we are um, in that map pack so that is gonna be the second thing that we hit on um, when we are uh, looking to help boost your rankings um, is those citations. Final thing that we hit on is uh, what's called backlinks, which I think you're pretty familiar with, um, but I'll just hit on them real quick. Um, basically what a backlink is, is it's going to be the, uh, it's going to be a link between uh, site A and site B, and uh, the way uh, that works is um, one site A is actually giving power um, or authority from their site to site B. And the more of those you have, the greater authority that uh, your site receives and um, the more authority that uh, Google sees that your site has, the higher in the rankings that you're going to go. Um, so backlinks are super important. Um, the thing that uh, the caveat that comes with is they've got to be quality backlinks as opposed to just quantity quantity backlinks. Um, so you want you want to have both, but quality is is really what it comes down to. Um, and when I say quality, uh, the way that works is uh, I'll give you an example here. Let let's say that you've got a favorite pizza parlor that you go to. You're a regular at. Um, you know the owner, the owner loves you, um, you guys have exchanged business before, he sent you referrals, um, you've sent him referrals, that kind of thing. Um, let's say he's got a blog and um, he wants to talk about uh, the great job that you guys did on his foundation repair. And so he actually writes up a blog post, um, talks great about you, um, and leaves a link there to your website at the bottom of his post and he tells you and you say hey Stan thanks so much this is awesome this is really helpful um, you know and you go from there uh, Google actually sees that and says 
you know, one of these things is not like the other. Um, Google sees a pizza place and then foundation repair and says these are not related. And so that actually is going to drop your ranking on Google because um, to Google that looks like a spammy backlink. Um, on the other hand, let's say you also have a friend who um, is a contractor and you guys are, uh, you guys do a lot of great referrals together. Um, and he's got a blog on his site and he links to you, gives you a great review. Um, Google actually sees that and says, this is great. You know, contractor, general contractor, um, insulation or foundation repair, you know, these are in the same niche. And so that's going to help boost your rankings. So that's where quality versus quantity backlinks comes in. And so that's why uh, quality is so important. So um, just to give you an example, this is a website I use called Arifs. Um, this is a way to analyze your site and uh, what what we've got going in. Um, so you've got 57 backlinks uh, with five referring domains, 45 organic keywords. Um, for the .biz site, I also pulled up the other ones. Um, the structure desk pros we've got five and five um, and then the structural pros we've got 70 and 27 so um, those are definitely uh, you know we've got a good start on those um, as far as your as far as your competition goes um, we can just jump right in here I'll show you how this works Okay, so looking at this, um, they've got um, at this particular site, um, they've only got two referring domains, four backlinks. Um, the reason that it's only shown two and four there is because we're not looking at the um, main page. So looking at the actual domain, um, they've They've got 257 domain, excuse me, 257 referring domains and about 1.4 thousand backlinks. But um, it's definitely something that we can work with and we can beat them out and get, get you ranked higher there. Um, so that is the third thing that we want to hit on is those backlinks. So um, running through them one more time again. First thing, most really the most important one is going to be the uh, content. We want to get it get uh, a lot of great content in there on that home page. Um, at least four thousand words to beat out the competition here. Um, and then uh, for any of your back pages, we also suggest having um, five hundred to seven hundred fifty words on any of those back pages, those service pages, that kind of thing. And uh, those can actually help you to rank those particular pages for the keywords that um, that you're going for there. So we we can actually get you ranked um, on multiple pages, so that you can actually um, kind of just destroy your competition here. You can end up being ranked um, similar to NC Foundation Repair. They actually have the top two spots there, just based off of. Uh, of their rankings. So uh, number two again is going to be those citations. Um, so we want to make sure that we are getting your name, your address, your phone number, different space throughout the internet and really being not your competition there. Um, I think yeah this they had 39 you were at 24 um, and like I said earlier uh, we generally recommend 200 to 300 just to kind of um, really blow your competition out of the water with citations. And then finally is going to be those backlinks that we talked about. Um, qu 
quality over quantity, but we still want to um, beat out their overall quantity as well. Um, so that is kind of that. Uh, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out. Um, otherwise, uh, you know, let's just dive right in and and uh, really kind of start to take over your competition. Uh, great to talk to you, JC. We'll talk to you soon.